Hey everybody, Matt Saletti with Dovespot here, checking out the brand new Machine Studio, Machine 2 software, and we're talking today about the drum synths, which is a collection of drum synthesizers that are optimized for use in machine to create really great, fat, punchy, analog sounds, physical model of acoustic kits, very powerful. We're going to give you a quick taste on how they work, and make sure to check back at dubspot.com for more information. All right, so as I mentioned, the drum synth is one of the best new additions to Machine 2. Uh, you're going to find uses for it in all sorts of ways, and you cannot pigeonhole it into doing just one style, one genre of music, because it's so flexible. Now, what these are are simply monophonic synthesizers. They're little monophonic synthesizers, and they are kind of restricted to just work in terms of what you would use for drum synthesis. And that is actually a key point to make because it's very important to kind of just tailor it to its specific need. Sure, you can go in and open up a big old multi-oscillator synthesizer and create drum sounds out of it, but with all those options, it kind of takes a while, and it's not quite as focused as what these drum synths are going to be. And I think that's the real power behind them, and that's why they're so easy to tweak and ultimately use very quickly and efficiently. So... I used it in context of a kind of a simple trap beat because that's relevant to a lot of people, but it also shows off one of the drum synth's strengths as far as just good, crisp, clean, analog sounding drums. Let's take a listen. Make a trap with the drum synth. Drum synth. Make a trap with the drum synth. Drum synth. Make a trap with the drum synth. And that's what we're doing today. We're going to make some trap. Anyway, so let's take a listen. Very good sounding, very pure, very analog-ish, if you will. Now, the way I loaded this kit, and these are just, again, simply custom-made drum synths, I typically go to a blank sound, and I'll hit Shift Browse, at which point that brings up the internal instruments, of which you'll see the sampler, and then you'll also see kick, snare, hi-hat, tom, and percussion. Those are the different kinds of drum synths you could load. So for instance, if we want to load the kick, let's go to our plugin window, and ultimately you have three. On some of them you'll have three, but you, this one is so simple, it's just got pretty much two pages, the velocity and the engines. So of, there's a couple kinds. It's not all just analog style. There's like three kind of electronic, and then some more physical modeling styles. So sounds great. You can make real kind of acoustic kits, whatever you want. A blending of acoustic and electric hybrid kind of drum kits. It's really cool. So the first thing we're going to do is simply make a big old sub bass, 808 style. What's an 808 kick drum? It's a sine wave with a pitch envelope to basically transpose the pitch. And that's how you get that big boom. The decay is going to control how long it hangs out. And the bend, you can actually have kind of give it that tone. Depending how much the bend is and over what length of time. So you can get even in more kind of sci-fi sound effect territory if you want. Right now we're just going to keep it simple and kind of do a nice little punchy big 808 sub style. Now you can even adjust the attack. Lots of times you would have to layer a second drum to do this, where you would want to kind of use another drum that's filtered with a high, sharp top end to add to the sub bass. Well, you can kind of do it all within one instance. Another good example is, say, if you have a drum sample that's kind of lacking, it's got a nice body, but it's got no punch to it, you could easily come in here and kind of just add your kick and then quickly tweak it just to kind of give you that nice punch. together they work really quick so what I'm finding is that I'm using it a lot to actually just layer drums now whereas you would spend hours kind of browsing through your library just to find a good kick that you could layer with I'm finding it so much easier just to get in and use a drum synth to kind of tailor and add these things so nice sharp claps you can do a couple different things with claps you can get that nice kind of layered clap sloppy clap by turning the decay all the way up 
and this has that great new plate reverb effect as well. Let's switch over to the navigate window and you can actually see on the menu, on the screen, on the GUI, uh, the different kinds of nice new plugin views for these drum synths. So you can really kind of get in here and tailor it and see what you're doing with the envelope as you switch this out. Sounds great. Hi-hats, very simple. Oftentimes just a noise burst, right? Change the tone. Saturate it, switch up your tone. Tune it, decay it. You want to open hi-hat, you want to close hi-hat. Very simple. So I made a close hi-hat with a very short decay, and then I just duplicated it right over to the next pad and open it up for the open hi-hat. Now there's this other cool option called gate. So check this out, it's off right now. So when I hit it, it goes for that full decay. If I turn it on, the gate is gonna basically hold as long as my finger is pressed down. So you can do, it's kind of a nice open hi-hat, but a quick short burst depending on how you actually play it. Very helpful. Now, one of the big things in trap music is you gotta have that nice tuned snare. So let's go look at our pattern. So one thing I like about the drum synths with snare rolls is that it's much a little more, uh, I guess it's easier to kind of have a more realistic pitch snare roll by using this drum synth I'm finding. What you had to do before was kind of pull up an 808 and then put that thing into pad mode and Kind of like that. And it always didn't always sound as natural as what I'm finding with the drum synth where I can just automate the tune. And so that's simply what we did right here in the GUI. You can see we just drew in some automation in real time. Now it's not also just a one trick pony. Like it doesn't just do this. There's so many other different drum synths. The percussion one, for instance, can make really bizarre kind of synthesis tones. And then when you get a little crazier and actually do some processing, let's put like a grain delay on. We can get pretty nuts right there. Very fun. Now, what else when we're talking about trap music? Oftentimes you're gonna hear like a bell as a melody. So let's pull up something simple like the tom and we can actually go in and just add a simple delay. And what we're gonna do is, this is actually, the tom is really cool, the Tronic Tom. You can go in, and what you can do is, a couple different engines here to choose from, by the way. Fractal, Tronic. You can actually come in and adjust, basically there's two tuned oscillators and an FM oscillator, so you can really get nuts with the sound. So again, it's not just for drum sounds. You can really turn this into a playable instrument. So let's go see if we can write a line with it. Simple as that. Now, in trap music, you're going to have all sorts of different kind of sound effects, bloops, blips, zaps, laser zaps, whatever you want to call them. Very easy to kind of get in here again. Just a simple few knobs, you can really tweak it out. So let's actually put a long decay and a big old bend. And again, all these parameters can be automated in real time using auto write. We wanna go the other way, let's get a fall. <laughs> Lots of fun. But really, again, the strength of this thing is that you can get tons of tons of different kinds of sounds and everything is so quick and immediate and fast to tweak that you really find a lot of power. You're going to see many more in-depth tutorials from us. Just check out DubSpot and pay attention to the upcoming courses. Make it
trap with the drum seat. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.